Asian mm. ones. The main misconception that I've found being here in St. Lucia is the time that animation takes. Because people approach animators and they approach animation the same way they approach uh, maybe videography or logo design or any of these other art forms. And just recently I was having a conversation with some clients who wanted animation and I had to tell them animation is actually 10 times or more harder than videography, I would say. Um, because of the amount of time it takes, people expect you to, they give you a video, just like when you have a video you go out you shoot for maybe one, two days, and then maybe you spend two or three days, maybe a week maximum editing and putting that together. And before you know it, you might have a 30 second or one minute or maybe two minute video. Animation is, in, is a whole different ball game. 30 seconds could take two months in animation, depending on what you do. Especially working here where I don't necessarily have uh, a large team to work with. Sometimes, most of the times, sometimes I do, I do the animation by myself which is something that I'm trying to come out of. But that's one of the main misconceptions, the time it takes. Animation takes time. So sometimes artists would come to you and maybe they have a song or sometimes they have a book that they write and they say, oh, I want an animation, I want a bad piece of animation. And they feel like you can give it to them by next week or two weeks. Completely unrealistic. Sometimes you have to give people two months in advance. That's even before work starts. So that's the main one. Um, I think that's the main one, you know, for me. That's a main misconception. And also, by virtue of it being so difficult, the cost of animation. People will underestimate the cost of animation, but there is a cost that comes with all the different aspects to animation. There's a cost to your electricity bill because when your computer is constantly running and rendering images, um, it requires a high level of computing power from a machine. The investment in the machine that you make is very expensive. For example, the machine that I personally use it cost me about $18,000 to purchase a machine that could do 3D animation comfortably. And it's still not enough. So that's one of the misconceptions, the cost to animation. Well, 3D in particular is because first and foremost, the cost of computing, that's one. Also because the 3D pipeline is so complex and so vast that you would have to contract or hire other artists to be able to do a production in animation. Um, so, for example, in 3D animation, there is scripting, there is sound design, there is voicing, then there is concepting. And after you concept, then you must do character development, you must design characters. These characters might, be, might have to be designed in 2D first. Then you must translate those 2D drawings into 3D models. In a pipeline, there's a 3D modeler that has to model that. The same person who drew the characters is not necessarily the same person that's going to model them. Then after you model these characters, you have to do other processes like texturing them, putting materials on these characters, the, the type of cloth they wear, the type of hair. Yeah, that's a, the whole job, hair simulation. There are artists who all they do is deal with hair. Then you have um, rigging, where you have to put almost joints in these characters so that you can manipulate them and move them. That's a job by itself. And then you have animation, where a character has to manipulate that puppet and bring life to it. That's a job by itself. Then you have lighting and rendering artists that put lights, that worry about backgrounds and how the look of the entire scene looks. Then you have post-production artists. And when you look at any credits in any movie, you will see the, the breakdown of all these different skill sets that come into a production. So that's why it's so expensive because if you want high quality animation, you would have to get individuals who specialize in certain aspects of the pipeline so that they can perform their best on certain aspects of the pipeline. Now, you can go ahead and do everything, but that is still very difficult. It takes a lot of time. It takes a toll on you. It takes a toll on your computer. Like I said, your electricity bill takes a toll on your life because you would have to almost sacrifice almost every other thing when you're working on an animation production. You'd almost have to be a bum for a couple of months. <laughs> so that's one thing. So that's, these, these, all these different factors just make animation very expensive. Mm -hmm.